Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought of making some scones. Since my friends are coming over, I thought, why don't I make a very nice whipped cream and strawberry jam scone. I'm really excited and today I'm going to be showing you how to make it in the Thermomix. Thermomix is a very good brand of mixers or you could just use a normal mixer, but this Thermomix has a lot of different it's like weapons. So I'm going to show you what a Thermomix looks like. And if you haven't seen it before, well, today is your day to see what a Thermomix is. And if you like it, make sure you go buy it because you even have a cookbook that goes with it. And you can also go online. So let's get started with making our buttermilk scones. The ingredients are some self-raising flour. You will need 440 grams of this. Some milk. Or you can use buttermilk. You will need 320 grams of this. Some brown or caster sugar. You need two tablespoons of that. A cup. Well, I'm using a cup. So it has all the um, things what you need. Like one ounce, two teaspoons, two tablespoons. Some butter. And you have to have this cut up. And you need 60 grams of that. Um, some, a pinch of salt, I'm using the ones where it grains it for you, but you don't have to do that. And some baking paper. And for this, of course, you will need a tray. The reason why we are going to be using some self-raising flour, you cannot use plain flour because for scones, you need, um, if you want, if you're using scones or like dough or pizza, you need self-raising flour or if you're using pizza, pizza flour. But you need self-raising flour. What self-raising flour does is it rises it for you. When if you use plain flour, it would just stay the same. So you need this or otherwise it will not work the scones. This takes around 45 minutes. <gasps> quick, quick, quick. My friends are going to be here really soon. Okay. So you're going to turn on the power switch. So it will start working. Preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius. So it gets ready and warmed up for when you are going to make the scones. The first thing we are going to do is put 440 grams of self-raising flour into the mixing bowl, which is called the Thermomix. Make sure you have the right measurement. You're going to press this on the Thermomix. Then start pouring in your self-raising flour until you get the right amount of self-raising flour. Now we're on 440 grams. That's great. Just in case if you touch it, it could change the amount. But don't worry, the self-raising flour is in there and it cannot change how much is in there and not. Okay, so now we're going to add our sugar. I've in two tablespoons of dark brown sugar, which is the same thing as brown sugar. Now I'm going to pour it in. There it goes. Now... We are going to start adding the salt. It's a pinch, remember? Since we're using it right now, we're just going to do it. That's about a pinch of salt. Now, we are going to be adding our butter into the mixing bowl. And remember, it's 60 grams. Make sure it's cut Since up. Since we're doing the butter, which is 60 grams, we're going to press this so then we know how much we are putting in. Goes that. That is five grams. This will probably be 15 or 10 grams. 15 grams, right on. Now, we need 60. We'll come back when we get 60 exactly. Look, we're on 60 exactly. Now, we're gonna get our lid and put it on five seconds speed eight, or until the mixture resembles bread. We're getting a spatula and we're going to just start by putting all the breadcrumbs which we've turned. We did, um, we did, if it's not mixed in completely like this, you can keep going, but, uh, we put it for eight seconds, five seconds for speed eight and three seconds for speed now, seven. for our last ingredient, we are adding in 320 grams of buttermilk, or just use milk. So, we're gonna press this again, 
and we're going to start pouring in the milk. When you get to 320, stop. Keep if you going. want it to be more milky, you can add more milk. So, now we're going to put it on 5, wait, 20 seconds, speed 5. If it's not going, you need to make sure it's on time. And after your mixture looks like this, you're going to put the lid on and I'll show you what to now do next. I'm going to put it on 20 seconds again. Oh. Make sure it's the plus button. Now, we're going to press, do this. Then we're going to press this wheat thing over there. That's kneading. Then it will have this little corn there. Now we'll stop, then go. Once it's finished, listen what Okay, meant. so once the mixture is out of your Thermomix, you can add some self-raising flour down. Just in, you can either put it on your mixture or you can put it on your um, breadboard. So you're going to knead it until you get the right um, consistency. You do not want it to be sticky since... Um, this, there's only one more step till putting it in the oven. So you're just going to make sure that you get all the flour on it, the self-raising flour on it, and you have to make sure that it's not too wet or too dry. So you might um, think that you can skip the step of making it wet or you're fine if it's wet, but you need to make it self-raised flour to make it less dry, um, more dry, so then when you roll it out, it won't get stuck to the rolling pin. So you're going to have to roll it out like this, and you're going to have to make it thinner and thinner so you don't want any fat bits because you might think, oh, yeah, I need a big fat bit. But um, you don't because the self-raising flour is going to rise the scone back up. So once this is finished, you're going to get a small cutter and you're just going to cut it out. If you don't have a small cutter, you could use like something like this with the lid and cut it. Or I would prefer something smaller but not too small. So you want to think if you've never had a scone before or if you've seen a scone size or you could look it up on the internet, what they look like, they're not too big and they're not too small. They're just right. And then you can half it in half once it's all baked. So you're just going to keep rolling until you have a thin Okay, dough. so I've got a circular cutter, but if you don't, you can just use, like I was saying, a container. So you're going to start and start making a circle. So make sure, get it in there and then circle. Then you can start taking them all out. Well, I'll, be, I'll come back when it's all on the tray with the baking paper down. Grease the baking tray. Put the baking paper down. Make sure that it fits it. If it's too long on the side, you can cut it down on the baking tray. That's what it looks like when the circles are all cut wow. out. That was just some really hard work we did. Yeah, it was. Thanks so much, Eve, for helping me cook. You're welcome. Well, I've got a surprise for you. Really? For me? Yes, since you were so good and it was your first time ever cooking. Oh, is it a surprise? Another one? You've already had one? Oh yeah, you remember gymnastics? I went there today. Oh yeah, how did gymnastics go? It was amazing. I loved it so much. And I loved the pizza and the lemonade you made me. Oh, thank you so much. What did you get for your surprise? I got a pet and I got an ultra rare one too. Well, well, maybe you'll get another one with this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, have a great time opening it. I'm going to open it right now. Slayer, now let's open to see the secret, secret message. messages. Sweet or sour? Slayer. Wow, mine changes. Now Cuts look. time to crack the ball wow. open. Let's get all the blind bags up and oh, open them. Look, it's fancy. Eve, could you 
Would you please show them fancy on the chart? Chart? I'd be delighted. And I think from mine, because I collect them, I have already got fancy. I traded her. For what? I traded for her the, for the two ultra rare twins. Cool. Now you've got your own. Yay! Okay, so she is on the chart here. She is a fancy. No wonder. I want to do. I want to see what she does as a change in colour. Me too. I've never tested it out since I just got her. It comes with a keychain, a little doll, a bag, an accessory which could be shoes for the big doll, glasses for their big doll, or anything. On the front it shows that the queen has an accessory of a little handkerchief. Cute. And a sticker and a secret message to give you a clue about them. I think she's who I think she's sweet and I think fresh is sour. Hmm. But definitely with the twins, sugar is sweet and spice is sour. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see what the scones look like, watch our next video. And if you have what a request for what I should do for my video, put it in the link down below. I think I'm going to go to the hairdressers next. I would like a curl. Oh, remember when I went on vacation and I had my hair done? Maybe I should get it curled next time. Or a run. Or I should play some computer games. I don't know, but put it in the description box down below. And see you later, baby lovers. Bye.